is the best member of the Saturday. Science has the answer. Rochelle, Frankie, Molly, Una, Vanessa, you're all obviously incredibly fantastic. But which one of you is the best? Are you ready to subject yourselves to some science? Yes! yes. 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 Then let's begin. Test one, mental coordination. Now, girls, we all know that being part of a massively successful girl band does require a lot of mental agility. Right. But which one of you has the most mental coordination when we get science involved? OK? Ooh. So, ladies, you must each take these lettered cubes positioned in front of you yeah. and arrange them in a tower to spell the Saturdays. OK? Right? Oh, yeah. Science states that the one of you to finish first is the winner. The Saturdays. Spell. So, the girls must arrange these scientific cuboids in a vertical tower so they spell the words the Saturdays from top to bottom. But which of them has the most mental coordination? One of them's falling over. <gasps> oh, Frankie, she's racing into an early lead, but oh, oh no, her towers collapsed just as she was about to complete it. If I was single and an awful lot better looking, I believe I would ask Molly on a swimming date. <laughs> oh, Frankie with a professional foul there. Let's take another look at that. The XS Club Junior nudges the table, putting Rochelle's tower out of the game. Sneaky, but clever. What drama. Oh, that leaves an unsavory taste in the mouth. Well, now Rochelle's at it, holding a tower up like that. Oh, Will's given it. He's given Rochelle as the winner. Unbelievable. The rest of the girls are not happy, but no one said science was fair. Oh, Will, no. Yes, Molly, yes. The next test in our quest to discover which one is the best Saturday is the vocal test. Test two, vocals. Now, naturally, girls with your levels of pop prowess have incredibly beautiful, soulful voices. Yeah. I actually, I heard them recently on your new single, Missing You. <laughs> but which of you has scientifically the most powerful voice? Uh, oh, what's the top? Each of you must now sing the phrase, suck my pop. <laughs> the one who can hold the last note for the longest is the winner. The Saturdays, stand. And on the klaxon, you got to sing. OK. Yes. Stop my pop. I like to listen to the girls' beautiful voices when I'm in the shower. But which one will come out on top now? Science is the one in the shower. Uh, Rochelle, out. Uh, Molly, out. Uh, Una. That leaves Vanessa and Frankie. Oh, and those hands in the air signal the end for Vanessa. She's out in second place. So Frankie remains and is the winner of the vocal test. So that's one win for Rochelle and one win for Frankie, meaning that it's all still to play for at the halfway stage. Still to come on who is the best member of the Saturdays. Test three, looks. We've taken data from each of your faces and we've put it through our Suck My Pop science processor. Ooh. And the results were impressive. I can reveal that all of you are well above averagely hot. <laughs> Rochelle, mm -hmm. your nose is perfect <laughs> oh, no, don't look in relation to the length of your ears. <laughs> but according to science, it's a tiny bit too wide for your mouth. Thank you. Oh, no. The ratio of your face to your ears is it's nearly perfect. But science says your ears are a smidgen too long for your nose. Oh, <laughs> I'm always how small it is. Molly. Yeah. Really, really nice uh, vertical symmetry to your face. But when we take science into account, it emerges your nose is the tiniest bit too narrow. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Do you know? Your mouth is the perfect width for your nose, but according to science, your face is actually ever so slightly too short. <laughs> Vanessa. 
You have excellent facial symmetry, but our scientific uh, results reveal that your nose is also slightly too narrow for your face. But with a score of 9.1, the best looking member of the Saturdays, according to science, is... Frankie. This is the final scientific test. It's the girl power test. Test four, girl power. I have applied to my body the scientific apparatus of the suck my popotron. Each of you must now take it in turns to strike the suck my popotron, and thus science will decide which of you has the most girl power. Rochelle, step forward. Okay, Rochelle's first up. Let's see what she's got in those girl guns of hers. Rochelle? Yeah? Execute. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, she nearly missed him. <laughs> Frankie, step forward. Execute. <laughs> Probably not Frankie's strongest test, this one. Molly, step forward. Molly limbering up. Execute. And for a small girl, she packs a big punch. Una, step forward. Execute. <laughs> Ooh, let's have another look at that. Una performs the classic spin move and delivers her <laughs> dose of girl power. Impressive technique. Vanessa, step forward. Execute. It's a massive blow. She's literally blown him off screen. Vanessa's known within the band as the Rottweiler. Now he can see why. Awesome power. But is it enough to win the girl power test? Ladies, the results are in, and I can confirm that the girl with the most girl power from the Saturday, scientifically speaking, is Vanessa. Oh, no! Yeah, so Vanessa, she wins the girl power test. But how will it affect the final standings? Final results. Sam. Rochelle. Frankie. Molly. Una. Vanessa. The scientific tests you've undergone today prove without doubt that every one of you is blessed with almost unbelievable physical and mental prowess. Stop flirting, Will. Get on with the science, mate. However, <laughs> science is an unforgiving mistress, and there can be only one winner. Right. In fifth place... Science! It's Una. Oh. Oh, Una's out in fifth place, and she is not happy about it. Science schmeyers. <laughs> in fourth place, it's... Science! Molly. Oh, devastated. Absolutely devastating. <laughs> Science is not poo, Molly. It's brilliant. Third is... She blinded with science. Rochelle. But well, I thought the same was Vanessa. Oh, she's querying the result. No one likes to see that. So, uh -oh. in second place, it's... Vanessa. <laughs> which means that in first place, the best one of the Saturdays, according to the gospel, which is science, is Frankie. <laughs> the other girls are not taking it well. I'd steer clear of them if I was you, Frankie. Love science! <laughs>